Okay, this is just going to be a brief overview of the three types of Worthingtons that we currently have out in the field. This being the oldest of the old, um, and this one typically, it started out with just a four-line display, and then they eventually created a six-line display. Both displays have different, slightly different protocols, but the end user wouldn't, won't really see any difference. Uh, this is the newer of the old style, and you can tell because it has a little stubby antenna on top. And then this one is the newest Worthington that they've, that they've come out with, uh, and it's got the handle. There is two batteries. There's one inside the handle and one inside the unit, and this one has to have a recharger. Whereas these two units, you can just open them up and put a set of batteries in there. Now as far as programming these units, these two program identical, and then we'll take a look at this one separately. Um, so let me go ahead and get this turned on here. Okay, so to program these older units, um, when it says hit any key, I just hit the green yes button. And then to sign on, we want to push no. And then for setup mode, we want to push yes. Now, for the password, you want 1, which is for W, dollar sign for D, 4 for T, 8 for R, then the status button, which is I, and now you will see WDTRI on your display. Go ahead and hit enter. That is the password to change barcodes, terminal IDs, etc. The only thing you'll ever really have to change on here, possibly terminal ID, usually just the barcode configuration. There's only two barcodes we need to worry ourselves with. So we're going to do RF terminal setup, so push number one. And then we're going to do barcode, so push number one again. And then we're going to scroll through each barcode by using the enter key. So we don't, we're not worried about three of nine at the moment. UPC EAN. There's no easy way to remember this, but the number you're looking at is the correct configuration. The configuration that comes out of the box is if you see the fourth character, that 7, out of the box that 7 will be a 6, and that D in the second to last character would be a C. Um, and I can remember the BDE from the Borland database engine that we use with Lock Software, and I just happen to know that out of the box the 7 needs to be there and it starts out as a 6. D needs to be there and it starts out as a C. So that will scan your short codes and your long codes and most of the stuff that goes across the front end point of sale. So we use this for price verification. So if you hit enter again, enter again, enter again, enter again, and one more time you'll see MSI and Plessy these are vendor reorder numbers, they're six digit codes out of the box you'll have 04 you want to push the number one to give it 14 now once you're done, these are the only two barcodes you need to worry about once you get done with those two if you just push this F1 key it'll take you up one hierarchy in the menu hit it again up one more hierarchy and then finally it'll take you back to the sign-on screen. Okay, to program the newer Worthington, um, this is the splash screen that starts when you first turn the device on and it says hit any key. I'm going to use the enter key. Now you're going to be prompted with this menu here. Sign-on, setup, one-way mode, or an RF site survey. We're going to use the setup feature and this may be a little hard to see okay so once we get into setup there's a few things we have to worry about on this unit this unit came out with a newer style protocol which supports multi lines not just a four line or a six line display so in order for it to work with our legacy software we're going to have to tell it to communicate in a legacy mode 
to do that if we go to the LCD settings which is number seven the very first line says four six line legacy mode if you push the number one you will see it will toggle from four to six to off we're gonna want that on either four or six either one is fine if you're using with the, this with the DC order you just need to make sure the DC order has the same number whether it be four or six but they have to have they have to correlate they have to be the same number so once you got that set up now it'll work with our older software so we can push zero to back out of that now we want our barcode options so we're going to push number two and if we go UPC EAN 13 number two you see number four has UPC EA or uh, UPC A check on push number four to turn that off that will disable the ending check digit on the barcode and then zero will back you out of that and then what we want to do is go down to MSI Plessy which is number seven and if you push the number one you will notice that it will cycle through a few different settings and if you go back to off and you hit one one time you'll have a single mod 10 that is the correct setting to be used with the DC order. When you're done with that, simply push zero and you're back to the main screen.